If you have been following this channel for any length of time, you know that we do a lot of videos on water quality. We've talked about almost every water quality parameter that you can talk about, from ammonia to nitrite to nitrate and pH and even things like temperature. In this video, we're going to talk about how to test those water parameters. It's a showdown. We're going to be looking at two different testing methods. We're going to look at Tetra test strips and we're going to look at API test strips, so stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and yes, today we have a showdown for you. The Tetra test strips versus the API test strips, which one is better? Now, what we're going to do for both of them is we are going to have the liquid test kit, the API liquid test kit as a reference point. So if any one of them diverge or if they're different, we can have that liquid test kit to fall back on. All right. So in this corner, we have this. We have these Tetra 7-in-1 test strips. So what do you get with this? Well, we get chlorine, nitrite, nitrate, ammonia, alkalinity, hardness, and pH with, the, with these two bottles. And so one bottle is a 6-in-1 test strip, and then we've got this separate one here that holds test strips for ammonia. So that's what we have here. And in the other corner, we have this. Now, I had to buy this in two separate packages just to try to make it roughly even. And so we have the five-in-one test strips here. And as you can see, we get pH, we get nitrites and nitrates, carbonate hardness and general hardness. And then over here, this was a separate package because I also wanted the ammonia test strips to match up with what the Tetra packages provide. If you are interested in purchasing any of the test strips or kits that we look at today, I will put an Amazon affiliate link down in the description below. So this is the first bottle we're gonna test. This is ammonia, it's reading total ammonia nitrogen. That's important, I've done a video on why that's important. I'll put that card in the upper right hand corner. So we're gonna go ahead and dip this thing in. It says to dip it for five seconds. Seems pretty good. It says then remove and hold the strip level with pad face up for 60 seconds or a minute. And as we can see here, we have no ammonia. That would make sense since this is a fully cycled tank that has been up for quite some time. Okay, so it looks like ammonia for API is doing what it's supposed to do. Now what we need to do is we're going to look at these five in one test strips that we have here. Again, this is reading pH, nitrite, nitrate, carbonate hardness, and general hardness. Uh, the directions say that we need to dip the strip directly into the aquarium, swirl it two times, remove with pads face up, do not shake off the water, compare to color chart, immediately read the, the general and carbonate hardness, but wait 30 seconds to read everything else. So once again, if you wanted to double your fun and save some money, you can cut this strip vertically and then you'd have two strips in one. So let's go ahead, we're gonna dip this in, we're gonna swirl it around a couple times, face up, and what do we have here? Let me see if I can get this closer. Uh, it looks like we're right around 100 and, about 100 parts per million on the KH, and we're way out here at 180 parts per million on the general hardness. Uh, looks like we're gonna be in that pH range of around upper sevens. Uh, we can take a look at our pH meter. It looks like that's gonna be a little bit off because my pH meter consistently reads about eight. In terms of nitrite, there is nothing that is good. And then we are somewhere in that 20 parts per million when it comes to nitrate, which is about what this tank is usually at anyway. Okay, so here we have our Tetra Easy Strips. Again, these both of these bottles came in one package. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the ammonia test strips. And just like the API brand, this is also measuring total ammonia nitrogen, not the unionized ammonia. So again, I would recommend you check out that video, but the directions I'm sure are similar. Uh, we need to hold the strip, dip into the aquarium, swirling it back and forth in the water for 10 seconds. And then we need to remove, shake the excess water from the strip, compare immediately to color chart. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now there are two categories here. We've got the fresh water and then the salt water. So if we go ahead and we read our fresh water, we are once again at zero, which is where we should be. Okay, so so far it looks like the ammonia test strips for both brands are reading zero, which is what they should be reading. Let's go ahead then 
and we'll take a look at this. Uh, this is doing something that the other, uh, the API test strips don't do, and that is in addition to nitrite, nitrate, pH, carbonate hardness, and general hardness, carbonate hardness they're calling alkalinity here, is also going to measure chlorine. I'm not, at least for me, quite certain why I need that because most people use dechlorinator unless they're on well water, in which case they don't have chlorine. The chart is actually here, it's kind of hidden away. And again, we've got fresh water and salt water. So we're gonna go ahead, let's read the directions first, right? Uh, so it says remove one test strip, hold the strip at the end of the uh, at end with no pads, dip the strip in the aquarium and remove immediately. Hold the strip level, allow the colors to develop. At 30 seconds, compare the nitrite, nitrate, hardness, chlorine, alkalinity, and pH. And so that's what we're going to do. So we're gonna dip that in there, take it out. Now let's get this on the screen. Let's see what we've got going on here. So again, our pH looks like it is in the upper seven. So I actually think this may be more reflective of what we actually have going on uh, because we do have around a pH of eight. Our carbonate hardness, I think this is actually more appropriate compared to what I've seen in previous tests. It looks like it's gonna be right around 120 parts per million. Uh, we have no chlorine, makes sense. Our total hardness here is right around that, looks like more close to that 150-ish mark, so that's pretty consistent. We have no nitrites, and our nitrates, once again, are 20 parts per million, so it looks like this one is doing a little bit better job, at least what I would expect, when it comes to pH, and certainly uh, carbonate hardness, where the it looked like the API test strips were measuring a little bit low. So I think perhaps the easiest thing to do when it comes to pH is we're actually just gonna measure this and compare it to my Apera uh, pH and temperature meter. Uh, I will put a link to this in the description below, an affiliate link too. I love this thing. It makes measuring pH so much easier. We also have one for uh, TDS that we use. That will probably be in another video. But it takes a couple minutes to get this thing kind of equilibrated. You kind of have to put it in the water and swish this thing around. So we're going to do that for you know a minute or so, and then we'll come back and see what the pH is reading. Okay, so this is fairly consistent. This is usually what we get. Right now, we are at a pH of 8.2. It looks relatively stable. I would once again say that the easy test strips got us closer to this than the API test strips, which we're measuring a little bit lower. Uh, and again, I can measure this from tank to tank to tank. And this one tends to be on the higher side. Most of our tanks are right around a pH of eight because that's about where our water comes out. All right, so let's talk cost. The API test strips for just the five in one, it's not a bad deal. Currently on Amazon, it was like $10 for 25 tests. Again, you can double that just by cutting them in half. But I had to buy the ammonia test strips as well just to get that test so that we could do the comparison. That was another $14. So the API test strips, as we tested them here today, was $24. The Tetra test strips at the time of this video was right around $17, but that actually gave us seven tests. It gave us everything that the API test kit did. In addition to that, it also gave us chlorine. So if you really want that ammonia test strip, you're gonna wanna buy the Tetra test strips, at least in terms of price. So when it comes to reliability of the results, I test that tank, the multi low boy, from time to time, and it's always got a very consistent 8.2 pH. I think the Tetra test strips did a much better job of reflecting that pH than the API test strips did. Additionally, when I test that tank in terms of carbonate hardness and general hardness, it looked like the Tetra test strips were more closely reflecting what I would find in my liquid test kit compared to the API test strips. So it looks like I would give a slight edge to the Tetra test strips. In either case, they were both relatively easy to read, right? So we matched them up with the thing that was on the bottle and the colors were, were relatively easy to read. And again, I'm not so concerned about getting an exact number with these tests, especially when there are color changes involved. I just need to get close. I need to see a ballpark number. If you are new uh, to fish keeping and you're trying to figure out if you've got ammonia or nitrites in the tank, they should be reading zero. So if you have any color change, you know that you've got some things to work on. As I've already mentioned, we have a lot of videos on water parameters in the description below. Check those out if you have more questions. Also, I will put the links in the description below for the Amazon affiliate links in case you're interested in any of the stuff that we looked at today. 
So I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, share it, subscribe, check out some of those other videos, and we'll see you in the next one.